to my fans, I always, well, they know that I love to show them a different side to myself. And um, I think a lot of them are already really excited to see me doing theatre. At first I thought, oh, this is some, it's an old song. I, I don't know if I like it that much. But once I started to play around with it and did my own thing and really got into character, um, I really like the song that I get to sing. Probably the biggest um, number of people I've ever been on stage with, definitely. Um, 800 and 830, I guess. Um, yeah, it's going to be pretty crazy. This is definitely different to, you know, a lot of the stuff that I've been doing my own shows and doing, you know, playing the piano and doing things like that. But just being an angel and wearing wings and all of that, it's... Um, yeah, I, I find it really refreshing and quite different. I only saw Greece for the first time last year. <laughs> um, yeah, and people think it's funny because everybody else has grown up seeing it. <laughs> beauty school dropout, no graduation day for you. Beauty school dropout, miss your midterms and funk shampoo. I'm Terry Hansen from 97.3 Brecky Show and I'm playing a real stretch where I actually play Vince Fontaine, a radio announcer. It's a part I've been auditioning for for 13 years now. It's ridiculous, isn't it? Let it be clear, my singing and dancing would not get me into the cast of Greasy Arena Spectacular. They're incredible. Um, Drew and Megan and Ruby and Barry and all those major roles. Um, so to come back and be in a rehearsal place and to get to dance a bit, just a bit, it's good. The energy that we get from these kids are just insane and it's an absolute ball. So it's an amazing opportunity for the kids as well as the parents who kind of watch their kids have an absolute ball. We're doing a slightly more contemporary version of the show. So we are, those classic characters are living in this more slightly more contemporary context so that's kind of how we're melding those two ideas together in our production. Olivia Newton-John's like Australia's darling and uh, if you want to give the audience what they want but you also have to bring a little bit of yourself to it because that's all you can do as an actor you bring yourself to the role. Young audiences will be introduced to something older and then older audiences will be like this is my song from way back when, so it's, it's pretty cool. Everyone knows a Rizzo, everyone knows a Sandy, um, and the Pink Ladies are a great representation of a really close-knit group of friends, a close group of like girlfriends that just love each other and would do anything for each other. Like, your body's just buzzing, and I can imagine that's the feeling that you would get as an audience member.
She doesn't go to Rydell, does she? But tell me more, tell me more, but you don't gotta brag. Tell me more, tell me more, she sounds like a drag. Look at that.